Click OK. All right. So far, so good. So now we can also set the separator. Open the separator. You can see first we have separator parameters. We assume water separated to be 100%, gas separator, gas separated to be 100%. Okay. Constraints. This is the main thing. Okay. Maximum gas rate, 250. So we set our system, we set our system in such a way that the maximum flow rate that we have, that we operate, is only 250 million standard cubic feet per day. Okay, so that's our target. Okay, we we give this information to our model, and yeah, the model will calculate it for us how the system can achieve this number. The model will recommend the operation system, the operation mode to us. Okay, we just give them this target. Okay. All right. To make sure it is 250 million standard cubic feet per day. Okay. We click OK. All right. We are almost done. But don't forget, we still haven't completed the IPR in each well. Okay. So double click on well one, go to the IPR. Okay, so now we will input this model with numbers. Okay, you can follow me. Layer type gas, the IPR type CNN. Okay, so actually, although we created IPR model in Prosper, we can also do that in the gap. So it's okay if we do that here. And we must do that here, actually. By the way, if you have created IPR file from Prosper, you can also connect or take that, the file here by browsing it, okay? But now I will just input numbers in this model. So let's say the C parameter, make sure the unit, okay? This is 0. Okay, 0 0.008772, okay. Just to make it quite detailed, in reality, we just, yeah, we just use maybe three numbers after the comma, okay. But I just want to make it very detailed for example sake, okay. All right, layer pressure, reservoir pressure, 5,300 with layer temperature, 166. We can leave it blank. And then the condensate gravity, 67 with gas gravity, 0 0.77. Condensate gas ratio, 22.2. .2. Water gas ratio, one. Okay, and check the grid view. You can see it's automatically populated. Mask included, layer type gas, CNN, layer pressure, use IPR pressure drop, no. Okay. And others like this one, WGR, water gas ratio, condensate gas ratio, oil gravity, gas gravity, okay. All right, and also for the grid view, okay, more prediction fractional flow model, click edit if you want to edit it here. But in our case, we open the drop down menu and use from tank model, okay. Grid view, okay. Now you can see the layer one is okay. This section is okay. We use this fractional model or relative permeability from the tank model from the M ball. And the grid view already also okay. 
again, abandonment, levitacities, no constraint, no conning, downtime zero, tanks, schedule, no VLP. VLP, we can construct the VLP by using generate, or we can also import if we have created VLP files from Prosper. Okay, I have created for VLP files from the soft from the Prosper, but let's check if we generate the VLP instead. Okay, I use allow left hand side intersection for optimizer. Okay, this is proper proper calculation. We allow left hand side intersection. Let's do generate. Okay, generate generate for gap model. Okay, for gap model. All right, follow proper file, the PVT method, generate. Let's wait. VLP generate finished, but some errors encountered during generation. Why? We need to be careful. Generate. Okay, that's why we need to prepare the second method, actually browsing the VLP files from the Prosper file, okay? Browse this one, okay? VLP one, well one VLP, okay? This file, this VLP file is generated from the Prosper, okay? Click open here. This one is better than generating it. By the way, let's generate if we if we can generate still error. So yeah, we will use this VLP. Okay, so first a good validate data is okay. What is calculate? But we can skip it, skip it for now. This is actually if we have gas, if you have gas rate, WGR, condensate, gas ratio, and manifold pressure, what will you get for other parameters? Maybe we can do that later. Okay, so now we can click OK. Well, one is ready. Go to well two. 